Hey everybody, welcome to Any Scale Model and Painting. In today's video, I'm going to be carrying on a series of the 40k Space Marines, but this time I'm going to go with the Salamanders. Uh, first, you want to get your figure sort of part assembled or fully assembled, whichever way you like to paint it, uh, and just go with a black primer. Uh, next, let's move on to the base coats. Um, there's going to obviously be a few different colours. Uh, I'm going to start quickly with the face. Uh, ignore the back of the face, I've already pre done this. Um, and because obviously they're salamanders and they've got the dark skin, um, you want to um, put down a quick coat of Skaven Blight Dinge. Um, put a, a couple of thin coats on. Uh, it will pretty much cover in one coat, um, but try not to distort the details too much. Um, but just put uh, two thin coats down uh, and then give it a quick wash of Nuln Oil. Next colour is you want to get yourself Wazdaka red, uh, and this is obviously for his eyes. Uh, I do it at this point because if you go ahead and you highlight their face and get it all finished, uh, and then you attempt to do your eyes and slip or uh, the paint's too watery or anything like that, it can obviously ruin the rest of the detail. Uh, so put the red in now, and then obviously if you, you overrun, go back over with the Skaven Blake Dinge. The first highlight on the face, you're going to need Storm Vermin Fur. Uh, this is for um, the first set of highlights, and these are just across the, uh, the sort of the eyebrows, the nose, the cheekbones, uh, any sort of prominent feature. And then go over again uh, for your last highlight with Carrick Stone, um, and that's just for sort of the tip of the nose, uh, you know, the, the, the high points on the cheekbone. Um, and then that's pretty much the uh, the highlights of the skin done. Uh, then get some watered down Bugman's Glow um, and just sort of lightly, it's almost like a dry brush or like a, a fine highlight just across his lips. Uh, just to add a bit more definition to that. Um, then you want to get Mephiston Red um, and just sort of cover in the first two thirds uh, of his eyes and then obviously the last little section on the end, uh, Fire Dragon Bright. And that will just... Uh, sort of give them eyes that reflection you need. Uh, that's the face done, so now we'll move on to the rest of the body um, and I'll show you all the other steps for that. So, first colour on the main armour, it's Wild Flesh. I uh, hope I've said that right. Uh, what you want to do with this is just paint, obviously, the entire armour. Um, and the reason I uh, base coated in black is because you haven't got to touch up the, uh, the sort of the joins in the armour and the backs of the legs and stuff. Um, so yeah, you can do it in two coats. I did it two sort of watered down coats, um, as to not obviously leave brush strokes. And with the black on the arm pads, if you do go over um, and it sits in any recesses, you can always touch up with some bad and black after. Um, next step is to paint the holster and the pouches. Um, and for that, I use Doomball Brown. Uh, so I paint that you'll see now, see me now do the Doomball Brown, but when it comes back, I'll just run over the paints uh, I used. I've, I've gone ahead and painted some bits on it. Uh, so we'll go through them next. So as I said, I've gone ahead and painted a few simple colours on now. Um, won't go over in too much detail. Uh, first, the eyes of the helmet, I went with Avalan Sunset. Um, and again, if you just go over, just touch it up with a bit of the wild green, uh, the wild flesh, sorry. Uh, next, I did the crest on the armor with Retributor armor, um, just on the uh, on the front there. Uh, next, all the metal parts, I used uh, Lead Belcher, obviously for the rifle, a uh, little key on his thing there, and he's got a little um, a bullet there. I did the, the casing of the bullet in it. Um, <clears throat> so that's that color. The, uh, the next one I used is um, for the uh, parchment, I used Rakarth Flesh, um, that one. I did that in two thin coats again, because this one can take a bit to cover that one. Um, and then the final color on the sort of the first base coat was Mephiston Red uh, for that purity seal. So step three, it's time for washes, and for this particular model, 
I use three different washes. Uh, the first one being Nuln Oil, um, and for that one you use on the, uh, the green armour and any uh, lead belcher colours. The next one after that you'll need Reichlum Flesh Shade, and that's just for the, um, the Retributor Armour Crest in the middle. Uh, and then the final one you'll need is Agrax Earthshade, um, and for that I use that on the, uh, the Purity Seal, the, uh, the Parchment and the Brain Pouches uh, on the back there. Uh, so that's but that's when it's all highlighted so it's obviously starting to come to life a bit now um, and then we'll move on to some highlights in step four so on to step four this is the first uh, highlight on the uh, warg flesh uh, you're going to need warp stone glow thin your paint out quite a bit um, obviously it's like a milky consistency uh, and that's the sort of result we're looking for there on the arm uh, what you want to do is you want to cover most of the panels you can see. Uh, I'll show you now on the foot. Uh, but what you don't want to do is you don't want to go too far into the recesses. So as you would suspect like a shadow from the previous green, um, just leave a bit of a gap in between the recesses and, and go over. Um, don't obviously go all the way back in there. Um, it takes a little bit of getting used to if you're not, you know, the most confident painter. Um, but at this point I'd recommend a sort of decent brush. Um, I use the, um, the red grass game ones at the minute um, and they look pretty good and they, they do the job quite nicely. Um, it, two coats was probably better on some of the bigger bigger sections like that as you can see it's not uh, it's not doing full coverage but the, the smaller ones you can get away with. Uh, so yeah just play around with it um, and leave obviously the gaps and stuff uh, in the recesses um, and it'll start coming to life. Um, this is with the one leg done as you can see I haven't pushed too far into the recesses um, and it gives you that sort of uh, sort of two-tone green at the minute um, but yeah just go ahead and do the whole model um, and yeah we'll get on with some other highlights so that's what it looks like once you've done all of the uh, uh, the green armor um, and as you can see it's really starting to come to life now uh, for the final edge highlight on the green armor I use moot green um, and that is as it you know as I said, it's a, it's an edge highlight, um, so just obviously the defined edges uh, on the armour, any sort of uh, anything that sticks out, creases, uh, you know, everything. Basically, you want to get yourself a uh, watered down paint slightly and get yourself a good brush again for this. Um, uh, I use the, the, the red grass game ones, they're the Kalinsky hair, um, and they always keep a fine point. And this is the point, if you want to get a decent paint brush, uh, edge highlighting is all you're going to need. A brush that's going to hold its tip. I mean, I've been using this quite uh, pretty constant, to be fair, uh, and it's still got a great point on it. Uh, so yeah, just watch the rest of the video of how I've done it. Um, and again, if if you make a mistake, if you're quick enough, um, you can probably just just knock a bit off with your finger, or just get a, uh, a clean paintbrush with some water on it, um, and you can normally sort of wash it back off and go again. Uh, but yeah, watch the rest of it, and then we'll get cracking with some more highlights.
So that's what it looks like when he's uh, got all the new green put on there. Uh, obviously with the three tone green there looks pretty good. Uh, for the final highlights you're going to need Stormhost Silver uh, and that's for the Lead Belcher parts. Uh, the next one you'll need is for the black parts and that is uh, Dawnstone. Uh, so that's for the rifle and obviously the backpack. Uh, for the crest you're going to need Auric Armor Gold. Uh, obviously just on the raised edges there. Uh, some original base coats now, Rackarth Flash, uh, just the highlights on the uh, parchment. Uh, and then for the purity seal, I'll get my fist and red back out. Uh, the final paint you'll need is uh, tusk or fur, uh, and that's obviously just for the holster and the pouches. Uh, so just apply them in the same method you did the moot green, and then that's all the painting done, and then your figure should be finished. So that's all the painting parts done, so it's now just time to put it together. Uh, it's obviously this is what it looks like when it's finished, and coming up with the backpack there, uh, with the edge highlighted Dawnstone, just really makes that black backpack look less sort of imposing. Uh, but yeah, that's done. Uh, there's gonna be some stills coming up now, um, and obviously for the Salamanders, I've done a bit of a volcanic looking base, which I haven't shown in this video, uh, but at some point I will go through all like the technicals uh, for Citadels and make a video of it. Uh, but I'll leave you with the stills, hope you enjoy them. Uh, and yeah, hopefully, you know, give it a go and see what you can come up with. So, hope you enjoyed that. If you did like the video, just pop me down a like. Uh, if you've got any questions, comments, or anything you want me to cover in the future, just pop it in the comments below uh, and I'll get back to you. And if you like what you see on the channel, uh, hit that subscribe button to see future content. Also, you can support my Patreon page as little as $1 a month. Uh, and in you doing so, will just help me create more content, uh, create more giveaways and such, and just keep the channel growing. Uh, but as always, hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you again next time.